Hello everyone. Today I thought I would film a what's in my pen case. Um, I've had this pen case for a few months now. I only got it at the start of the school year, so it's not very old, but you can see there's already some like wear and tear. I got it from Target. It was super cheap, if I remember. It's from Yubi. So I think what Yubi does is that they, whenever you buy something from them, they give something to another person. So like you buy one and you give one. This pin that I have on top in front, my friends got it for me somewhere in LA. The, the story is that I got, had gotten injured and they, uh, they just decided to be nice and get me something that's like a feel well be feel well better present. Let's get to the actual stationery. So in the front pocket we have three things. Wow! One of them, the, the, this first thing, this is a pencil. This pencil is from Staples. The Pentel Twist Erase Click. This product has served me really well these past few years. It, I had it before I even had this pencil case, before probably like a few years ago. But I've been using it and it's great, I love it. It, it writes very nicely. It's a pencil. I mean, it has a very nice grip to it. I have it in blue. As you can see, unless you're colorblind. Which is not a bad thing. Yeah, okay. The next thing we have is the Muji Rubber Grip Polycarbonate Ballpoint Pen in 0.7 millimeters black. That is a mouthful. <laughs> but also, I love this. I have two packs of 12 and I finished one of them already. And I'm slowly getting through the other one. So, I have many of these. Um, but they work so well. Like, they rarely skip. It's very easy to write with them. It's just a great product. Muji's great. We also have this, which is the Muji Clear Tip Double Ended Yellow Highlighter Pen. So as you can see, one end, you can write in one end, and then you can also write on the other end. Wow! When you highlight or something, you can quite easily see the words underneath it, so you don't highlight past what you want to highlight. Stuff like that. Let's go inside. Gotta unzipper it first. Yeah. Here we go. So on this left side, we have a bunch of things. Let's start with this. It's a roller. Very simple. It's from my school. It's nothing special. It's flexible. It has inches and centimeters. And it's also a bookmark if I, ha if I use my school planner. Then I also have these Crayola Super Tips. As you can see, I numbered them because um, it's just easier for me to tell the colors because I made a swatch. Uh, a, a piece of paper that has all the swatches on them because sometimes the, co like the cap doesn't match the color. So these are in the color of my, my Bujo spread of the week. So this, oh, oh, and also my monthly spread. So this is the monthly spread one, which is bright green, which I, I'm sure you all saw. And these two are for my Bujo. This is the color scheme of this week. Sometimes there are two, sometimes there are one. Um, it just really depends. Next, I have a whiteout. Uh, this is a the Bic Whiteout Easy Correct, and I'm pretty sure I got it from Staples. But yeah, ever since I started using pen more, I need whiteout. And it, it's been really helpful um, because, you know, we all make mistakes, so we need whiteout. Okay, the last thing I have in this left side is an eraser. This eraser um, I got from, <laughs> oh my god, I got it in fifth grade, which is seven, eight years ago. Holy heck, I still have this thing. But I, I hadn't used it for the first like five years of owning it because I think it smelled good, 
It doesn't smell now, obviously, but it smelled good, so I didn't really want to use it. But yeah, it had like a like a paper covering that I took it off because it was really childish. But this this is this works really well. On this right side, let's start with this. It's the Muji soft calligraphy pen. Mine is almost out of ink because I use it pretty often because it, it colors in things really well. So whenever I had like a big block of color in my bullet journal, I just use this. I like doing Chinese calligraphy um, and I can't do it with this pen. I tried and it worked okay, but like it didn't work terribly well. I also tried to do like modern brush calligraphy with this pen and it didn't work that well either. The next thing I have is this. The Sakura Gold Jelly Roll, wow! Okay, anyway, I really like this because it goes over any text I have. It's not transparent at all, it's just solid gold color and it's great. It's perfect, 10 out of 10. Anyway, this is great product. Okay, the next thing I have is the Sakura Jelly Roll in white. This, this is, I, I give it 8 out of 10 because it's, sometimes it's too transparent. Like when I write over, when I color with the Muji Soft Calligraphy pen, sometimes I want to write over it in white, but it sounds really transparent. That's my only problem with it, otherwise it's great. Sometimes I use it for whiteout because I have like finer whiteout areas. But yeah. Ooh, uh, dropped it, oh no. Okay, so the next product products we have are these two, which I want to do together because they, they change in color every week. This one is the Muji Gel Ink Ballpoint Pen in 0.5. Um, this is the teal color, I think. I don't think they have names, but anyway, I call it teal. Usually this is in the color of the week. Uh, this week's color, as, I, as you saw before, is blue and yellow, and I don't know why I didn't change it. I like these a lot, just because of the color variety and also because they're good quality pens, because Muji is, knows what they're doing. Muji knows what they're doing! But yeah, this is from the 12 pack. Okay, the next thing I have is this Zebra Mild Liner. Uh, it's a Zebra double-sided mild liner, to be precise. And it's from the pastel set. As I said before, these, this is also in the color of the week, so it should be blue, but it's not, because I don't know what I'm doing. Yay! These bleed through like hell. I mean, the color choices are great. Um, I love the aesthetic. Look at this aesthetic. But they just bleed so much. The next thing I have is... The Tombow Fudoneske, uh brush pen in the soft variety. I really like this to do brush lettering and stuff like that. Um, I have the hard one too, but I prefer the soft one. But yeah, this this works. It's a really good, like, I'd say it's a good beginner one because I'm still a beginner and I find it really workable. The next things I have, these are sometimes in there, sometimes, sometimes in here, sometimes not. It's um, the Sakura Microns. Uh, in 01 and 005. Uh, these are my art pens, so if I'm in an artistic mood, I will keep them with me, but usually they're not in here. These are these are really good. I, I know some friends that use it just for bullet journaling, and they really like it for that. So, if you are looking for something more pricey, give this a whirl. The last thing I have in this inside area is something you can't see right now. It, they're post-its. So, yeah, post-its. Okay, on to the back. So the last thing I have for you all is a scissor. I always have scissors with me because sometimes I also keep washi tape in this back pocket, so I need to cut that. But also I found that it's really useful because Sometimes people need scissors and they don't have them. I'm just like, wait a minute, let me get my scissors out. And then I run to my backpack and get this out and then get my scissors and they're all, they're so happy and it's, they're cheering and they're naming me President of the United States and it's great. <laughs> I doubt Donald Trump carries scissors in his pencil case. Now as I said before, sometimes I keep washi tape in here, but I don't have any right now. 
this is my pencil case. It's adorable and I love it very much and it's it's very useful because I used to not have a pencil case for the longest time. Since sixth grade I didn't have a, I didn't carry a pencil case with me. I, I just use a plastic bag or just the pocket of my backpack or just a side pocket where you're supposed to keep the water bottles and stuff and I just because I didn't trust pencil cases for the longest time sad pencil case story I lost my one of my pencil cases in sixth grade and I had spent so much time building up all the things in there that I didn't feel like it was worth it to try and rebuild it um, the day I lost it, I like broke down crying. It was really kind of immature of me, but also it just shows how much I love stationery. Like I lost that and I couldn't bring myself to get a pencil case for six years. For six years, I haven't had a pencil case. And now I have one again. And I'm, I'm really enjoying it because it helps me stay really organized. Um, then I'm definitely going to be carrying one around from now on. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening to my pencil case sob story. And uh, hope to see you next time. Farewell.